Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Graphing parabolas, quadratic functions, understanding and identifying the various parabolas. In today's lesson, we are going to be looking at, well, we've already, up until now, we've been looking at all parabolas in this format. What we will be looking at is a new variation to this format, and that being similar format as what we've looked at, but now with some kind of a translation in terms of how is this parabola going to move with respect to this new value, this k value that we are introducing and how that's going to play a role. Okay. Now, the equation of a quadratic function can be expressed in different ways. So let's look at three different ways in which we might see a parabola written in our notes or in our textbook. As follows, y is equal to 2x squared plus 4x minus 30. This is what we call standard form. And standard form is any parabola that is written in the form of y is equal to ax squared plus a bx plus a constant, a c value. Okay? So that's our standard form. And that's the form that it will be very common um, in this chapter. Next form is what we call the factored form. It represents the same equation just written in what we call a factored form. And lastly, the same equation, we're going to show it as what we call the vertex form. And notice here, now the, the asterisks here for vertex form, because the vertex form will be the form we will focus on as they are the simplest to graph with, okay? So this is really the format, okay, that we want our parabolas to be in. Okay, so when we're looking at the, the example that we have here, okay, that we have here, okay, at the beginning, this is in some variation to that vertex form because this will help us pretty much extract what we call the vertex for graphing any, per, any set of parabolas. Okay, so the vertex form here is what we have here. The information here can help us find what the actual vertex is. When graphing quadratic functions, we will want to make sure our equation is in some variation of the vertex form. So we've looked at y is equal to ax squared. Here's an example of when an equation is in this format. And it'll look as follows, y is equal to x squared, where our a value here is equal to 1. Okay. Next one, which is the format that we are going to be looking at today, is in the form of y is equal to ax squared plus k, some kind of a k value. And an example of that is y is equal to x squared plus 2. Again, our a value is 1. It's whatever value is in front of the x squared when it's in this format. The other version that we're going to be seeing in the next episode is in the form of y is equal to a, open brackets, x minus h squared. Okay? And an example of this would be in the form of y is equal to x minus 3 all squared. And notice here, the value of a is still 1 here in this example. And the last example, the vertex form, the actual vertex form, y is equal to a x minus h squared plus k. It can be written as y is equal to x minus 1 squared plus 4. Now, we will compare and contrast the properties of various formats of quadratic functions with respect to y is equal to x squared. So pretty much all of them are going to be, to some extent, congruent to this version. But they change... Okay, based on whatever, our, I guess, our a value is, okay, in all these, these equations, and based on where changes to what we call the vertex line.
So the two formats of parabolas we'll be looking at and comparing will be written as follows. So in the form of y is equal to ax squared, which we've already seen in previous chapters. But here, notice here, we still have the x squared, x squared, minus 3x squared here. The a value happens to be here, negative 3. But here, notice here, we are going to see how does this, if we were to add this to this equation, how is it going to change this equation? The parabola that we know here, how does it change once we add this plus k value? 